What's up, y'all? This is RTTTA, which stands for Random Things to Talk About. Today, I wanted to speak of a new and extremely limited time release in theaters, which most of you probably know of, which is Beauty and the Beast 3D. Since I'm so horrible with updates, I don't know when it's out of theaters, but I can give you this much. I'm not totally excited about it. Beauty and the Beast is a great film. Probably one of, I mean, I'm a Disney fan. I love all Disney films, as long as it's not Disney Channel related, because Disney Channel sucks. They, they've just decided that they're gonna put everything in 3D now. We, we figured out Lion King was coming out in 3D. We're like, oh, okay, cool. Why Lion King? And then you see Beauty and the Beast and you're like, that's in 3D too? Okay. How many are they gonna do? And then I just and then I just recently saw Finding Nemo is coming out in 3D this fall. Now I see where this is going. I think they've decided they're going to make more money on their films by releasing 3D versions. I love Disney, but sometimes they make mistakes. This is a mistake. Beauty and the Beast in 3D, I've heard, isn't very 3D-ish, and that just proves that it's not really worth your time. Because not only is it not great 3D, but you're spending a good three, four bucks more than you normally do on a normal movie on some cruddy 3D that barely even works. And to add on to this, the 3D glasses actually dim the screen. So when you're watching it, it's almost like you're watching it with sunglasses on. It's really ridiculous to spend more money on something that's that I almost think isn't even worth as much money as the original thing is pretty darn ridiculous. The only good part of this is that they've decided, Disney has finally decided they're going to actually start back up short films. Not just Pixar anymore, but Disney. Hallelujah. I've been waiting so long for that to happen. They've decided they're, they're going to just be releasing a whole bunch of shorts before films now. So now there may actually be a reason to go see a Disney 3D film. The short film before Beauty and the Beast 3D is Tangled Ever After. I haven't seen, I haven't gone to theaters to see it, but basically from previews and posters and everything I've been able to research and find, it's simply Flynn and Rapunzel getting married and Maximus losing the rings for their wedding and so they have to go and catch the rings. I hear there's some good comedy in it. I saw the animation. It's that good old traditional heavenly Disney animation we all remember. Now I am a Tangled fan actually. I really do enjoy that film. I've seen it dozens of times. Okay, well maybe not dozens, I've seen it about five times. Every time I watch it, it's just as good as the last time I saw it. I'm gonna have to admit right now, I know a whole bunch of girls, the only reason they like Tangled is because Flynn is really hot. Vice versa for me. I really love the film, not only for the amazing traditional Disney animation, the colorful and beautiful graphics, and the really cool original story, which Kay gave the Rapunzel story, a twist. But I'm gonna have to admit right now, Rapunzel is really hot. You know, I see I see her, you know, flash forward and then you see her when she's 18, she opens the window and I go, hot, 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 hot. You know, everybody else is like, what the heck? Oh, oh no no no. I mean I mean it's 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 hot in here and I'm I'm come 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 down with a with a fe fever. Yeah. So Doug, don't touch me. You know, I'm gonna have to admit, it really sucks having a crush on a cartoon character. It really does. Because unlike an actress, where you can at least think, oh, well, even though I don't have a chance with her, you know, there's always that possibility since she actually is in reality. She's actually real. You have a cartoon character and you're going through all the basics. Okay, uh, let's see. Rapunzel's only, you know, a few, few years older than me. I think she's only like two and a half, three years older than me. I think I, think I may have a chance with her. That's the only problem. Oh yeah, she's not real. It's a pain in the butt. Flynn Rider, I mean, even the guys can admit that they know Flynn Rider is a pretty hot guy. I mean, truth be told, they actually got girls to come in and pick all the concept art, art and come down to one final decision on who is the hottest guy in all the set of concept art, art that the people had created. 
and they all looked, and finally they all came down to one, and that was the final Flynn Rider, which we see today. They just can't get my nose right. I know you're probably sitting here watching this, and you're probably like, am I really watching some idiot talk about how he has this crush on a Disney princess? Probably like, am I really watching some idiot talk I'm, about how I'm he has this crush I'm not watching anything about an idiot talking about how he has a crush on a Disney princess. But hey, let's face it, I mean, I figured out that quite a few people have huge crushes on cartoon characters. I'll just have to let that one go. It's now to the point that I literally will never even... I mean, she's fake. I really have a feeling, though, that the people that made the film were sort of blondest if you want to put it that way, because when her hair gets cut and it turns brown, I'm like, what the heck, man? You know, it's like they wanted to make it brown at the end because they didn't like blonde, so they basically covered it up by making it brown at the end. I mean, seriously, I've got blonde hair. Can we not do blonde hair? Something else I've noticed is I don't think any of the main characters have blue eyes, so now they're eyest. Too, if you want to put it that way, I hope none of these words actually are real and mean. Seriously, I, I think they are. I mean, I've got blue eyes and blonde hair. They can't do that. Rapunzel has green eyes. Flynn, I think, has green eyes. The Horse Maximus has brown eyes. And the Gecko, I'm not sure, so I'll have to figure that one out. So yeah, I've probably spent a good seven to eight minutes speaking of this, and if I haven't, then I've edited out a whole glunk of stuff. Um. And this was Rittatata for you today, or R-T-T-T-A, or Random Things to Talk About. Thanks for watching. I hope you somewhat found this funny. If I'm not, please comment below and tell me I suck so that I know if I'm funny or not. And be honest, because I seriously don't want to have to try harder unless I know I have to. Uh, and see you later.